Those are not mallards, Jerry. Those are mergs, yeah. I'm not shooting those. Those are mergs. Those are, yeah, dude. Jerry, those are mergansers. Are you sure? They were barking like mergs. I know, but they didn't land or... I know, they had long mergs. Like, I don't want to jump through and they could be like specks or something like that. They weren't specks. If anything, they're cacklers or snows. That's a brand. <gasps> they're brand! I told you we had they're to shoot. They're brand! We gotta go get the other one, Jerry. Holy I knew it. What? <laughs> we gotta mount these, don't we? Oh, dude, we're getting a double mount. Oh, oh my God. Wow. Are you kidding me, buddy? Are you oh, kidding me? Oh. oh my God. I don't even care about these ducks, dude. <laughs> Are you shitting me right now? Good morning guys. It is Veterans Day. We are out here hunting in northern Minnesota on Big Winnie. It had the craziest thing just happen. We just shot two Brant. Check that out. Unbelievable. So if we could shoot some, I don't even care if we shoot any ducks the rest of the day. This is the most insane hunt I've ever had in my life. You never shoot that in Minnesota. And to have both of them come in, do it dirty. All on film. Unbelievable. This is a few days after the hunt has transpired. I just wanted to add a little bit of additional context to go along with everything and answer a few questions that some of you viewers might have. Why was I convinced that these were common mergansers? Well, birds that are around that size that fly around and are common this time of year in northern minnesota are mostly common mergansers so that was my first thought and one of them let out a little i mean it was a honk for a brant but for me it was familiar as a merganser what i refer to as a bark so i was a hundred percent in belief that they were mergansers Thank God I had two other people in the boat with me that thought otherwise. You know, we came to the conclusion before we shot that they were small geese. So we weren't just shooting at an unidentified bird. We did have the assumption that they were either lessers um, or maybe speckle bellies. But they, you know, they didn't make any sound coming into the spread. So we didn't really know. Shooting them on the water, you know, I know that that's a controversial thing. And you can ridicule me all you want for it. But I personally don't see anything wrong with shooting a bird on the water. We ethically killed both of them. Everybody has their own, you know, different ways uh, that they waterfowl hunt. And we shot two Minnesota Brant, and that will never happen again. And if anybody is gonna say that I should have ID'd those birds even on the water before we shot them, how was a hunter in the middle of the United States supposed to be able to ID a Brant that, or ID a bird that they never really see unless they're hunting on an ocean, you know, thousands of miles in either direction? is what it is a little bit of additional commentary and extra context for you guys thank you so much for watching i hope you really really enjoyed this video waterfowl season is wrapping up here so hopefully i can get one good late season shoot actually on film and yeah get another one out there but thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe